girl. Baby 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 girl. Code word is peace. P E A C E, not P I E C E. Cause you can't get a piece of this. But I'm talking about peace. I'm on this app called Clubhouse, and Clubhouse, if you don't know what it is, sorry, Foia. You got it's invite only, so. <laughs> but yeah the beast of own if you are on clubhouse but we were getting in a deep conversation the difference between happiness and peace i think a lot of people are like i'm not happy i'm not happy i'm not happy but what you really want to find in life is your peace happiness can be as simple as first of all happiness is a choice right so if i'm in a bad mood right now i have a headache i'm sleepy i'm tired i'm just moody i can choose to be happy one of the first ways you can choose to be happy is smiling if you're watching this video and you're not smiling choose to smile it instantly raises your endorphins, it raises your vibrations. You're taking the proper steps to choosing to be happy. If I know ice cream makes me happy, you know what? I'm about to go eat some ice cream. As you're eating that ice cream, you're happy. If I know spending time with my boyfriend makes me happy, spend time with your boyfriend. You're laying on him, you're happy, you're happy. Once all of those things are shipped away, once you can't have the ice cream, you can't have the boyfriend, you can't have the trip, you can't have the vacation, you can't have the Chanel bag, you can't have all these little things that make you happy, right? When you take away all the things that make you happy, how do you feel? And that is important and that is when you know you want to have peace. If I am in these four walls by myself with no ice cream, fresh flowers make me happy. My humidifier makes me happy. Resting, watching TV, Netflix, chilling makes me happy. The view, the scenery makes me happy. If all of those things are taken away and I am in a four wall jail cell and I still have peace and joy, that is the true ultimate happiness. Peace is the ultimate happiness. I want y'all to understand that. So we're not searching for happiness in life. Because once you get something, you always go want something else. Once I get that thousand, I want that hundred thousand. Once I get that hundred thousand, I want that million. Once I get that million, I want that billion. That's happiness. Reaching goals is happiness. But when you have internal peace, that's the ultimate success. And that is what I'm searching for. I feel like I had that my whole life internal peace and i'm talking about when i was broke sleeping on the floor talking about roaches talking about i ain't got no bed for six months pull up this video jay show them a little clip it's one of the first videos on my youtube my move to atlanta i moved to atlanta and i'm broke it's something it's still on my youtube page scroll back y'all scroll back four or five years ago even during that time i had peace i have never lost my peace you know you have true peace when you have nothing and you wake up vibrant full of life excited, not sh overly stressed, not in a gray or dark mood. I have never not had peace, ever, ever. I've always had peace up until about a year and a half ago. I don't know if my career taking off changed it. I don't know if it was stress, anxiety, you know, being busy, being overly worked. If certain things triggered me, I feel like I turned into more of an introvert not always wanting to be out and be on the scene, kind of getting anxiety or nervousness around a lot of people. My personality started to shift. I started to be more ticky, more agitated, a little more moody. And that's when I realized I'm happy. I reached my goals. I'm a millionaire. I have this high rise. I have my family. I can take care of my sister, my cousin. I'm happy, but I don't have peace. So I want you guys to know if you lose that peace, it's only temporary. You can find it, but you have to take the proper steps and focus on mental health to find your peace. We wake up every day and brush our teeth. We wake up every day and shower. You need to wake up every day and do something towards your mental health. Are you journaling? Are you writing? Are you going on a walk? Are you praying? What works for you might not work for everybody else, but do something every single day to focus on your mental health. And that is how I am choosing to find my peace. I wanna find my peace. Maybe it's something from my past, from my childhood. Maybe it's something now, it's stress triggers, um, trying to deal with my new lifestyle, whatever it is. 
I don't know, but I want to share with you guys, you're not alone if you feel like you're in a dark time or a dark moment. And look at the glass half full. You're still alive. You're still living. You have a choice to find your happiness and your peace. Find it. We're not accepting the dark times. We're not accepting the dark moments. We're not accepting feeling miserable or feeling down or feeling tired and feeling blah. We're not going to accept that. We're gonna acknowledge those emotions and figure out a way to work through that. And I promise you, just like every other situation you got out of in your past, if you look to your past, history repeats itself. Everything that was bad and horrible and all the trials and tribulations, you got through them. God got you right through them. So why wouldn't he get you through this, right? So you're gonna look, you're gonna look back in a few years and be like, damn. I really fought for my peace. I really fought for my happiness. I really figured out a way to get out of that dark moment and I didn't walk around. This is who I am. I'm unhappy, my life is bullshit. No, we're not claiming that. You're gonna figure out a way to get out of those dark moments, get out of those depressing anxiety times and find your peace, whatever that looks like for you. We're not striving for happiness anymore. We're striving for peace. There's a difference, and I want you guys to understand the difference. You can choose to be happy, but that peace is that feeling, that, that internal feeling that you want. When everything is gone and everything is stripped away, do you still have that peace? So that is the code word for the day. And real quick, uh, the code word for this episode. I also understood that God is testing my faith. I'm always preaching to you guys, cause mind you, I've had peace my whole life. Whether I have been in the worst situations ever or the best situations, I've always had peace. Up until, like I said, it's drifting about a year, a year and a half ago, year and a half. It's kind of, I'm happy, I feel like happy, but it's a peace that is missing that I'm searching for. I want my peace back, right? I've always preached to you guys, manifestation, faith over fear, be optimistic, do your journaling, pray, don't give up, be positive, look at the glass half full, not half empty, right? I've been preaching all of that and it's easy to preach that when you're happy and peaceful. But now, God kind of took away my peace and said, hey, all that you was preaching to all your supporters, all your fans, all the stuff you was preaching when you had your peace and you was happy, now that you're not so peaceful and you're a little stressed and you're going through this transition, are you going to apply that? Are you going to practice what you've been preaching to the masses? God going to test you. Do you believe that? Are you going to do that? Are you going to have faith over fear, be Simone? Are you going to fight through the dark moments? Are you going to manifest? Are you going to do all these things that you're telling everybody else to do? Now I'm being tested and I have to focus and practice what I preach and really focus on mental health. I don't think we do that enough as a community. I don't think we do that enough as people of color. Mental health is not talked about a lot. Focus on your mental health and find your peace. It's a difference between happiness and peace. Find your peace. So I'm being tested. And if you're one of these people that are watching this and you being tested too, we going through the test together. But I'm telling you one thing, I'm not giving up. I know this is only a tribulation that's going to lead to a testimony for me to help people, lead people, continue to use my platform and help people manifest out of those dark times and dark moments. Once again, I don't care if I have 5 million followers or if you have 5,000 followers, we're all human. We go through the same things. And I'm letting you know 2020 has been a rocky year for me, just like everybody else. And I'm committed to my mental health. I'm committed to finding my peace. And every day ain't going to be perfect. But you know, commit to finding your peace. And it's only gonna be another thing that you made it through. So I'm gonna motivate you and we're gonna go into 2021, finding our peace and focusing on our mental health. I love you. Where are you at? I'm here. What? I had to run to get my wax. I had a wax appointment and now I'm getting tea because I'm trying to be healthy. I don't want to hear this <laughs> It's already noon. We missed the whole morning fucking around with you. We could have been halfway done with our day. But it's okay. I'm so proud of you for coming over. We're going to get a lot done today. <laughs> so let's just happy, happy, happy. Positivity, baby. <laughs> you printed all the orders? Oh my gosh. She's crazy. I was supposed to be here at 9. It is 11.30. But 
I was tired. It's Sunday, sleeping day. She wasn't having it. So now I'm here at 11.30. I had to make a few pit stops, but she's not even here. I'm talking about be here, be ready. The sun's out. It's barely out. <laughs> we were supposed to do this stuff yesterday, but whatever. I'm here, I'm ready to start the day. Don't know what we're doing. We'll do a few videos, a few pictures, a whoop de woo if she ever comes back. So we'll see, but still have work to do. Tired. Working on a Sunday. 20 minutes later. Walk through the door and I didn't stumble over your bag there. Go look at the door. How is a human being supposed to walk in that door? Yeah! Working on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have said rawr. <laughs> Maybe you should have said, bitch, give me your money. Maybe you could have said. <laughs> Something a little more scary, maybe? <laughs> That's the first thing that came to me. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Get up. I'm <laughs> gonna get my words out. Put your hands up. <laughs> Run that back. Yeah. I tripped over that. Oh, <laughs> like, what? Is this just the, a booby trap? <laughs> How do you? Oh, your shoes are cute, honey. Alright, guys. Vitamin little thingies so I can put them in here. I take my vitamins every day, but it's gonna be cooler just to, you know, <laughs> pop it open for the day. Like an old person. I'm not old, though. I'm wise. I text you at nine in the morning. Okay, well that's you need to have discipline. No, it's bad. My oh. parents lost my dog. What, Jasmine? No, his name is Ollie. It's a he. What did you mean they lost him? He's gone. They lost him. I'm trying to act concerned. <laughs> I let. Oh yeah. Yeah. Five minutes and he's gone. Great. Animals should be free. No. Yes, they should. Not in this household. <laughs> They should live out in the world. He's like, your mom is hysterical, hysterically crying. I'm just kidding, I'm like, that's up. I didn't know you had a dog. Do you know me? Does she know me? I didn't have a dog named Jasmine. That's all I need. She was gone 10 years ago. She passed away? Yes. When was that? Well, she ran away. Again, these Yorkies just like to run away. I don't know what the hell's up. She ran away or passed away? Oh, you don't know if Once, she passed away because she ran no, away. No, sometimes dogs, they run away to go die. Seriously, they do that. Why? They don't want to die right in front of your face. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my life. I don't know what to do. First of all, relax. And stop worrying about stuff you can't control. Okay, but what if he's really gone? He'll be back. Manifest. Okay, you do it. You're better at that. <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back. Okay. He just took a little adventure. A little adventure. He just wanted to be a dog for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Tea. What type of tea? Herbal. It's kind of have you take a ditty? No. no. I'm saying I smell it. Oh. It's Starbucks. <coughs> I just want a day with peace. You don't have peace? Well, not every day, no. See? 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 I want it though. I just talked about this. Peace is internal. Okay, but what about all the external stuff that goes like this? <laughs> <laughs> every day, I was supposed to have peace. Peace is internal. You should be able to sit in a jail cell and feel peace. And if you are not <laughs> have you tried to, that? to that point, could you try that? That is a problem. No. Could you do that though? I could get there, but I don't think I'm there yet. Your your mind is very powerful. I'm trying to give me a level. 
My mind is very, 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 very good, but it's, it can be bad. So yeah, peace. That is the goal. The goal is not happiness. The goal is peace. Do you understand the difference? Yeah. What's the difference between happiness and peace? Happiness is temporary. Mm. <laughs> happiness is temporary. Happiness is a choice. Yeah. And happiness are the things that you can see, feel, that are tangible. Peace is an internal feeling. Right. You should be able to have peace anywhere, under any circumstance. Okay, I need it. Okay, we're going to work on it. But look at Megan. She just called me and she's sad, but I didn't answer her. Let's call her back. See what she wants, guys. <laughs> well, well. Hey, Uncle Jay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coming in. Hi. Yeah. What are you doing, weirdo? Nothing. Jay over here. Amani, about to chew content. Okay, have fun. Yeah. Come on over. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm just calling. Oh, you need to be saying you headed this way. <laughs> I'm just calling. What's me? <laughs> Trying to catch up. What? Wow, you know what? You know what? The mind is a powerful thing. It's so powerful. powerful. If you wake up tomorrow happy, your situation hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is your mind. Yeah. You could be in the exact same situation. The dog could still be gone. The child, your sister, your mother, whatever, work, money. The only thing that's going to bring you that peace is your mindset. That's it training your mind and granted i'm 30 and i've only been you know doing this maybe the past seven manifestation seven eight five years mindset change mindset shift so it's a you've been living one way your whole life mm -hmm. you have to break that cycle and it's a habit you have to start new habits it's not gonna happen overnight mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen overnight but you've been doing so good okay. and it is okay to have a bad day or a bad moment I'm gonna say have a bad moment. It's not okay to have a bad day. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're just gonna fight for your happiness and your peace. You gotta fight for it. Mm -hmm. So I love you. Come on, let's get ready. Right. You got stuff to do.